Hello, and welcome to a mini lecture on the geology of Thermopolis. Humans have enjoyed the warm pools of Thermopolis since before recorded history. Besides Yellowstone, these pools are the best known in the state. The hot pools are located in the beautiful Bighorn Basin near the Rin Wind River Canyon. As you look around Thermopolis and wonder about the geology, pay attention to the hills and also the unique light-colored rocks at the base of the hills. These features are important in understanding the geology. The hills make up a geologic structure called an anticline. Anticlines are folds in rocks that arch upward like a rainbow. They can be recognized by how they form an A. The tops of the two anticlines in this diagram, one on the left and one smaller one on the right, are broken or fractured. Rainfall produces water that seeps into the rock through these cracks. The water then runs down the rock layer to a depth of about 6,000 feet beneath Thermopolis. There, it is heated by hot rocks beneath the surface to about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Fractures under Thermopolis help bring the water back to the surface, and at the surface, the water is now about 130 degrees Fahrenheit. The rocks just in front of these people make up an anticline. Note how they tilt upwards to the left, forming one side of an A. The rocks are red and date to the Triassic, the dawn of the age of dinosaurs. The red color means the ancient environment was very dry, which made the small amount of iron in the rocks rust. So why is the water at Thermopolis warm enough to swim in, but not hot enough to scald? The answer has to do with the rocks beneath the surface. Thermopolis is not near a plate tectonic boundary. The nearest plate boundary is off the coast of Washington. Thermopolis is nearer to a hot spot, an area of magmatic activity that produces volcanism. This hot spot is located under Yellowstone National Park. You can see the difference location makes for geothermal activity. The groundwater, when it's beneath the surface and 160 degrees Fahrenheit, is hot enough to dissolve certain minerals. When the water rises to the surface and cools, those minerals deposit as rocks. Popular swimming areas have been developed that offer recreation, and some claim therapeutic benefits from bathing in the mineral-rich waters. The pools around Thermopolis will rise and fall according to the hydrology. There is a lag of time, though, so don't expect the pools to fill immediately after a storm. It takes rainfall quite a while to percolate down into the rock. The rock that forms from the precipitation of minerals from groundwater is called travertine. Travertine is composed of calcium carbonate and is a form of limestone. In geologic terms, it forms under relatively low temperatures. Travertine forms terraces and landforms that you can see along the river. Travertine is similar to cement, so you can think of Thermopolis as a natural cement factory. Mammoth Hot Springs in Yellowstone National Park is also composed of travertine, and forms at lower temperatures than the rest of Yellowstone. This photo shows a close-up of travertine. Travertine is composed of calcium carbonate, precipitated from groundwater. It can dissolve upon contact with acid. There are other minerals that precipitate along with calcium carbonate. One is sulfur dioxide, which produces the stinky, rotten egg smell that you may notice. You may have noticed the large mound of travertine in the park that looks kind of like a beehive. This is called teepee fountain. Travertine deposits as water runs over the structure. Look carefully at the structure. Do you think it's actively growing? Do you see any water running down it? Teepee Fountain was actually created by humans, as this sign explains. People initially built a cone-shaped structure. Then they let the groundwater from beneath the surface bubble up and run over it, depositing travertine. Years and years later, the travertine formed the big mound you see today. Here's a sneak peek at what you will soon see at Yellowstone National Park. The water is much hotter there, hot enough to scald in seconds. This hotter water will dissolve different minerals than the cooler water at Thermopolis. Yellowstone is directly above the hot spot, so you will see many more geothermal features and activity. Yellowstone also experiences earthquakes and has the potential for volcanic eruption, although that's unlikely to happen while you're visiting. Enjoy the variety of geothermal features you'll see at Yellowstone, including geysers, fumaroles, mud pots, and colorful hot pools. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you learned a lot. Enjoy Thermopolis and Yellowstone National Park.